सो आज ना 2022 का आखिरी दिन है सो आई थॉट वाई नॉट डू अ री कैप ऑफ ऑल द बुक्स दैट आई रेड इन Uh, you know 2022 and the books that you know we talked about we shared reviews on this channel so uh is video ko start karne se pehle what i want you to do just like every time i say uh please if you're a book lover make sure you subscribe to my channel and also press the notification bell and uh, now let's just talk about all the books that i read in 2022 so i'd started my 2022 with a book named business woman by tanuja chandra and uh, this is uh, actually a collection of small uh, town stories and stories from her childhood and tanuja chandra as we all know is the famous film director who's given us films like uh, tamanna and uh, films like dushman then i read it ends with us by colin hoover uh, it's a must read for uh, anyone and everyone who are uh, you know who are into any kind of abusive relationship in life then i read uh, you know the hunger trilogy by suzanne collins uh and uh, this involves the killing of real people it, it it is actually about a deadly game that involves killing of real people and of course it's a thrilling read the next one is a touch of eternity by durjoy datta uh you know do jism ek jaan to aapne suna hoga na lekin ye kahani hai ek jism do jaan ki the next one is uh, karn the prince of ang by uh, kevin missel of course it's the reimagining of the story of karn from mahabharat The next I read Sudha Murthy's books like Wise and Otherwise and uh, uh, you know uh, a Grandma's Bag of Stories a must read for kids uh, and the next one is Believe in Yourself by Dr Joseph Murphy uh, of course I was a little disappointed with the book but uh, if you're a beginner then you can give it a try but it's it, because it's a very very small book The next is Inferno by Dan Brown and uh, uh, if you're following this channel if you're following me then you must know that I'm a huge Dan Brown fan. Uh, so uh, yes, uh, like all his other books, uh, it's a combination of history, mystery, thriller, and it's an amazing, it's an awesome book. The next is The Power by Rhonda Byrne. Of course, uh, it's not as good as The Secret, but powerful enough to keep you hooked. The next one is Vikramaditya Veer Gatha. It's actually uh, a series of four books, and uh, it's the story of Vikramaditya. It's his struggle, his life, and it's an amazing, amazing read by Shatrujit Nath. And uh, uh, you know, this book will actually all the series will keep you hooked. The next I read was uh, Man's Search for a Meaning by Victor E Frankel. It's an inspiring read of course and uh, after that I read uh, Navgrah Puran by V S Rao uh, which is the story of our nine planets hamare navgrahon ki kahani hai. Again a fascinating read. The next one is uh, The Song of Achilles by uh, Madeline Miller. This is a love story of two men. Amazing read. The next one is The Silent Patient by uh, Alex Michaelides. Uh, it's a murder mystery thriller. Again, amazing. The next one is uh, The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz, uh, which is actually a book that uh, tells you how to live your life to the fullest. Uh, the next one is the uh, you know Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. Uh, it's a murder mystery set up in a beautiful island, and it's very very beautifully written. The next two books that I read are one of my most favorite books of 2022. Uh one is uh, Atomic Habits by James Clear which actually talks about the significance of very very small tiny habits. And uh, the next one is uh, again as I said one of my favorite reads of 2022 The Magicians of Mazda by Ashwin Sanghi. Uh, again an incredible read a combination of history, mystery, mythology and uh, historical fiction but very very good. The next one is Brief Answers to the Big Questions by uh, Stephen Hawking. Uh if you're a space lover then this is a must read for you. Do grab a copy. It's an amazing read. Uh uske agli jo kitab hai wo hai Gitanjali Shri ki Ret Samadhi Tomb of Stone. If you uh, must have read about this book because uh, is book ko Booker Prize mila tha recently. Ek bahut khoobsurat kahani hai rishton ki. The next book is The Maidens by Alex Michaelides uh, and it's a murder mystery thriller uh, not as good as his first book The Silent Patient but uh, seriously still very very enjoyable uh, I mean you will enjoy the whole process of reading this book The next one is Sinbad and the Tomb of Alexander by uh, Kevin Missel uh, it's the second part in the Sinbad series and it's a book full of adventure The next one is Origin by Dan Brown again uh, uh, amazing amazing read what if somebody tells you that god had no role to play in the origin of our universe that's what the origin is all about 
The next one is Life's Amazing Secrets by Gaur Gopal Das, which of course talks about you know uh, how to live your life beautifully, peacefully, and happily. Uh, the next one is after that, uh, you know, it's called Verity by Colleen Hoover. Uh, Verity is a murder mystery thriller. Uh, but what I really, uh, uh, you know, loved uh, about this book is, of course, the suspense and everything else. And uh, but, of course, get ready for some sleepless nights because uh, it has some scary moments. The next one is Many Masters, Many Lives by Dr. L. Brian Weiss. Uh, now, uh, this is a you know story of a doctor uh, and uh, you know who doesn't believe in the concept of uh, reincarnation, but is forced to believe it when he finds proof at every step. The next one is the most awaited book of uh, this year. Uh, it's called War of Lanka by Amish Tripathi, uh, the fourth book in the Ramchandra series. Now, this is, uh, of course, a book uh, which is worth all the wait. You know, we've been waiting for this long, uh, you know, for this book for a very long time. So it's worth the long wait. The next one is the Hidden Hindu trilogy by uh, Akshat Gupta mind-blowing read this is actually a story of our seven immortals and their journey from pa past or you know from ancient times to modern times and Akshat Gupta has done a brilliant job because the kind of writing it is so simple but yet it keeps you hooked I'm waiting for the third part to come the next one is do it today by Doris Farrow uh, this is actually a book that will help you avoid uh, you know procrastination in your life you know how not to procrastinate that's what this book is all about and the last book uh, of 2022 that I read is called Percy Jackson series and uh, it's by Rick Rodden of course it's a story of a boy uh, you know his name is Percy Jackson he has some special powers and uh, how he deals with different situations in different books so all the reviews of these books, all the detailed reviews of all the books that I talked about today uh, are available on my channel and some of them I'll put in the description box below and also on the i button above. Uh, but overall you will find all the reviews uh, in detail of all the books on my channel. And so these were the books that I read in 2022. I'm really hoping to read many more and present to you many more reviews on this channel. Uh, so if you like this video, then please make sure you show your love to this video by sharing it, liking it. And uh, also, um, you know, I'll see you soon in my next video. And uh, till then, please uh, celebrate New Year. Keep reading and keep smiling.